everyone, in this video we're going to look at subspaces and some examples related to determining if a subset is a subspace or not. So in this example we've got V equals R2, so we're in the Cartesian plane and we recall from previous videos that this is certainly a vector space. And what we want to do now is we want to analyze the set W, which consists of vectors of the form x in the first component and 2 in the second component, where x is a real number. And the, so the question here is, is W a subspace of R2? So let's take a look. Okay, so a couple of things to check. First of all, W is a subset of R2. The next thing we want to check is closure under addition and we will see this is not closed under addition so when we check this we're going to get into trouble let's write down the check closed under addition the answer is going to be no it's not closed under addition and here's why look at if you pick a vector like um, u so let's say u and v are vectors in set W, so U looks like anything in the first component, we'll call it X, and it has to have a 2 in the second component to live in W. I mean that's the rule for living in W. And then vector V, we'll call it something like A, different letter, and 2 in the second component. So when we add these up, U plus V looks like x plus a, fine, no worries there, but now we're going to get a 2 plus 2 which is 4 and that is trouble because if we have a 4 in that component no longer are we living in W. The rule to live in W says anything in the first component a 2 in the second component and we blew it. So this is not closed under addition. Okay, and if you looked at a picture here, so again we're in R2, so let's look at, you know, the X and uh, Y axis here. And so W consists of the vectors with, they have X, you know, anything in the X component. So you can go left or right all you want, but you have to just move up too, right? That's what the Y is up here at 2, that's our y coordinate. Right? And so if you pick any vectors that have a terminal point on that line, like, like here's one, here's a position vector with a terminal point that lives on that line, and so we often refer to them just by their, their endpoints. And then here's another vector, you know, that lives with its terminal point, uh, endpoint right on that line. And if you were to add those two together, no longer are you living in W. And if you add those two together, you do some sort of tip to tail routine, wherever that is, this puppy is not in W, right? 